Hello, I'm Christopher Williams and welcome to our unit in London. The unit has five rooms and we do around 3,000 colonoscopies a year and over 99% to the cecum. Abigail, who I'm examining, is from a polyposis family. I chose the Innerflex variable colonoscope for her because she had a very long colon and extremely feel, uh, difficult colonoscopy three years ago. Her preparation was with senna and magnesium citrate. Her medication was 2 milligrams of midazolam, 50 milligrams pethidine and buscopan. <laughs> now this is, um, we've got the floppiest, gentlest tube that there is and we hope to surprise you. See, we'll get a little stretch feeling now as we go in around this bend. Well done. Looking wonderful. We're going in very fast. Well done. Get that first loop out so far as I can. So that's back out to 40. Um, right. So again, a little bit of a push. Have we got? Well done. Uh, push on the um, sigmoid, I think, there then, you just over the top. Well done. So again, I'll pull back. i try and keep this loop down. Going to be a little push, stretchy, windy pressure now. There we go. Um, a little, little tough for a moment. Well done. It's going very fast round. Well done, darling. Hang on a moment. Absolutely fine. It was very long and wobbly last time, so that's quite a jumbo loop. So now somewhere about here I'll, I'll pull back. This is, is that hurting you much at the moment? Yes. It is. Okay, yes. we'll get it back. Ready? Okay, so I've just done a push through there which is, um, and I can pull back and pull back. But I'm just watching the, um, do that. Okay, you can let go a moment. No, that's actually a counterclockwise twist, quite interestingly. So suctioning it. It was because it was pretty tough last time that I decided to to go for broke. I'm now going to stiffen the scope. Um, and let us see how that goes. That's going pretty well. It's advancing. That's good. We've done the bad bit. I'm going to go, well done, darling. We're going um, across into proximal transverse. So it wasn't very elegant, the first part, but it... Um, a moment to push, darling. Very deep loop here, but it's going well. I think what I'll do at this stage is I'll um, unstiffen the scope again um, and looks as though this could be coming to um, transverse, uh, to hepatic rather, so I'll pull back. Not quite. Uh, we may want transverse pressure. Let's just see. So if I suction here, oh, lost it. Go in again. Um, can you be ready for transverse colon pressure? Wait, wait till I get there, don't, yeah. don't do anything. So I just... Um, to lose that bend. Um, so, oh, that's interesting. That could be, perhaps. Oh, there's the valve. Yeah. That's good. Finished, Abigail, gorgeous. Well done. You looked wonderful. How are you? I'm all right. Yeah, we've arrived. Bow sign down on the way approach. So once again, uh, she's got such a long colon that I don't have the greatest control here, but that's nicely into ilium lymphoid follicles. Well done. You're watching it. Very pretty there. So we're on the way back. It's gone um, terribly well, terribly good result. What I'm going to do, um, take a picture just to show that we got to the um, ileocecal valve. Is it? Okay. Okay. Well, that's still... Yeah, that's good. Because you can see... Um, the little whitish blips you can see, or lighter blip, are uh, the lymphoid tissue. There's one in the centre of the screen now. Um, 
But the, the main thing is there's no question of there being any polyps. See the little grooves there? Those are like the fingerprints of the colon, so to speak. Could you now roll slightly on your right side, so just um, halfway, so get your left shoulder up in the air. That's fine. That's good position. No more, no more, no more. That's fine. Okay, so this is coming down distal transverse colon. No, it's really nice. Uh, you can be very proud of it. And um, this scope made life much, much easier for me anyway. And for you. Okay. You'll see that during this withdrawal phase, I'm being as careful as possible, trying to eliminate blind spots and get rid of any small amounts of fluid. That's a bubble on the right. You see, if there was a little polyp, it would look like that. I'll show you. Yeah. If, if there was a bigger polyp, I'll show you what it would look like. Um, I'll, I'll suction the surface and let go. And you see that? A, a polyp would look a bit like that. That's three millimeters in size, but that disappears because it was a suction, a suction blip. So that's you know, so that if that uh, three millimeter polyp looks as big as that, you can imagine uh, that we can see one millimeter or half millimeter polyps quite easily. Well done.